Well, hi there. Welcome to Seasons Change. My name is Luann. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you another Aldi haul. My full week's worth of groceries. I did all of my shopping at Aldi's this week. So let me show you what I got. Okay, we're gonna jump right in with this Oven Classic Turkey Breast for $2.99. This is an eight ounce package. Next up is the Home Smokehouse Pecan Smoked Original Smoked Sausage. This is a 12 ounce package for $3.98. Staying in the meat department, I picked up a corned beef brisket. It's $11.53 for almost a four pound roast at $2.89 a pound. These are so easy to make. I just throw them in the crock pot and then make some fried potatoes and or fried cabbage on the side. And the next meat that I purchased are the assorted bone-in loin pork chops for $4.96. Got me three pounds of pork chops. They're $1.59 a pound. And I think they look pretty good. The last item of meat that I've purchased today is the Breakfast Link Sausages at $2.39. That's going to do it for the meat that I purchased this week. My freezers are pretty well stocked, but I do have some more cold items that I want to work through. So next up are the Season's Choice Sweet Potato Crinkle Cut Fries. I love sweet potato fries. This 19 ounce bag only costs $2.19. And to eat along with the, all of the diced peaches and mandarin oranges that I've been buying is a cottage cheese. This is a 24 ounce for $1.59. With the weather heating up, I love to eat my strawberry, blueberry, spinach, and pecan salads with my homemade vinaigrette dressing, and it's not complete without the goat cheese sprinkled on top. This is the Aldi goat cheese. It's very good quality, and it's only $1.99. For snacking, I picked up some of the roasted red pepper hummus for $1.95. It's a decent sized container. It's actually 10 ounces, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And of course, lastly for my cold items are the stick butter and the olive oil and sea salt butter that is spreadable. I purchase these every time that I go to Aldi's. And the, the sticks are $2.89 and the spread is $2.25. Both of these freeze very well. Okay, I did have one more cold item and that's the Happy Farms Sharp Cheddar Cheese 8 ounce block for $1.69. Okay, moving right along, I'll do the produce. I did one cucumber for 49 cents. One avocado for 59 cents. A one pound bag of ba peeled baby carrots for 89 cents. Central West strawberries, 16 ounce package for $1.99. Let you look inside of there. These look really good this week. One 10 ounce package of the Cherub Natural Sweet Salad Tomatoes. They were actually 
And then the last produce item is another bag of these baby medley potatoes. I love roasting these up with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. I put them in the oven at 425 for about 25 minutes and they turn out perfect. And the price for these is $2.89 for a one and a half pound bag. Okay, so now we'll move into the dry goods. And we'll start with the pastas that I got. I have a spaghetti here. This is a large two pound box of regular spaghetti. And the cost for this is $1.39. Then for 59 cents, I picked up this 12 ounce box of the tricolor rotini. I've really been enjoying this relaxed trail mix. It's by Southern Grove. It has cashews, dried cranberries, dried pineapple, almonds, and macadamia nuts. It is a 13 ounce package and it's $4.99. For $1.69 I have some of the Lunch Buddies Mandarin Oranges. They are in 100% fruit juice and it's for four four ounce containers. I'll be eating these with the cottage cheese or on their own. For 89 cents each, I picked up two of the buttermilk ranch salad dressings. I will be using these with the raw vegetables like the baby carrots, broccoli, you know, just for snacking, plus using them on salads. To go along with the pasta, I picked up my favorite four cheese pasta sauce. These are 24 ounce jars, and these are in great jars. And these are $1.85 each. Okay, just to fill some holes in my pantry, I've picked up two cans of the traditional refried beans. These are 16 ounce, one pound cans for 59 cents. Now, this is a first time item for me. I picked up the uh, Casa Mamita Original Diced Tomatoes with Green Chilies. This, I would assume, is comparable to Rotel. This is a 10 ounce can, and they're 48 cents each. I have a lot of bread items this week, but I like to keep it in my freezer. Uh, I've been buying these pita breads. They do have whole wheat over there, but I get the white. And I use these to make breakfast pizzas. That's what I've also been using the refried beans for. The way that I make the breakfast pizza is I just spread about a spoonful of the refried beans in a thin layer on top of the pita. Then I put about two tablespoons of salsa, then whichever meat of your choice, like bacon or crumbled sausage, and then some scrambled eggs, top it with cheese, and then just put it in the oven. And these crisp up really good. So this is just something that I send with my husband for his breakfast. This package comes with five inside and they're $1.59. Next I have the whole grains, 12 grain bread for $1.75. 14 grams of whole grains per serving, a good source of fiber, and most importantly to me is the no high fructose corn syrup. What I do with this is I use it to make avocado toast for breakfast. And it's very good with chicken salad or tuna salad or anything like that for lunch. Instead of the local Mrs. Baird's Texas sandwich bread, I decided to go ahead with Aldi's this week. It is a 20 ounce package, zero trans fats. Um, it was only 79 cents, so we're going to give it a try. The last bread item that I picked up are these Loving Fresh Center Split Deli Rolls. I actually picked these up to have meatball sandwiches tonight. I just do the frozen meatballs with some of the pasta sauce that I showed you and sprinkle some Parmesan cheese and provolone on top, stick it in the oven. It makes a really good hearty supper with some of those crinkle cut sweet potato fries on the side and maybe a salad. Moving on to the non-food items, I keep these on backup. Uh, this is the Radiance Automatic Dishwasher Gel in the Citrus Scent. This is $3.35. 
Okay, there's something that I wanted to point out to you on these facial tissues. They look exactly the same. They came out of the same box. This is the Willow facial tissue with lotion. But if you look really closely, this one has 75 tissues. This one has 65. The 75 count costs 99 cents and the 65 count costs 69 cents. So just a little uh, heads up on that one. Next is the dog food. This is their little wet packs. They're 3.5 ounce packages. Lily's favorite is the filet mignon, the grilled chicken, and then her very favorite are the prime rib flavor cutlets. These are 45 cents each and uh, we do serve her one whole can of the pedigree wet dog food but these we kind of use as a treat. She gets usually about two extras of these a day. Uh, one around three o'clock and then one at bedtime. This is one reason why I love to shop at Aldi's. Where else can you get this many bags totally stuffed with groceries for $97.13? I appreciate y'all so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. I hope that you saw a few items that you would like to try. And by all means, if you have any advice or anything about all these items that you would like to share with us, be sure to do so down below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this, you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.